Hi folks and welcome to this video on how to link captive rings. We're using some leftover resin from another project. Some antique gold and a little bit of black and yellow which has created this greeny effect. This is a piece of ash, it's got some interesting markings and a bit of a void there so hopefully the resin will get into those gaps and make it completely stable for turning. And we're using some Caster's Choice Mica Powders, the Black Pearl and Macro Pearl White. Okay, into the resin chamber to hopefully compress any air bubbles and make them invisible. Normally leave it in the chamber for about 24 hours. Okay, onto the turning.
Okay, on to the deception then. Right. Well, first of all, you need to really study your captive rings. And it works best if you've got a lot of grain, colour, maybe a bit of resin within the ring, as I have on this one. And I'm using a very fine spiral blade on this scroll saw. And rather than cutting straight across, which is where someone would look to see if a cut was, I'm going at a slight angle and I'm following the grain and coloration within the wood to hide that cut. Now, if you haven't got access to a scroll saw, then a fret saw with a fine blade will equally do the trick. Once you've done the cut, just tease it into position. Real slight pressure, nice and slow, just until that ring pops across the other one. And there we go. Normally there's a good bit of give in the wood, but just be careful. The last thing you want to do is to get a snap or a break. Just using a bit of thin CA glue to seal the cut. a little bit of CA glue around that joint and I'm going to add in some very fine ash sawdust from the turning and that is the trick to just blending in where the saw came across and after a lot of sanding working your way through the grits up to about a thousand I think I then use some sanding sealer Yorkshire grit followed by some Hampshire polish. Okay, deception complete. Always a pleasure to see someone looking rather confused or intrigued to how it was done. If you found this helpful let me know in the comments or if you have any other tips or tricks on how you connect rings please let me know thanks a lot and i'll see you for the next one